well, look, it's not a new agreement. Well, at the point that we were making today in our press releases, this is an agreement that stems from the withdrawal agreement in 2018 and the MOUs. All of the MOUs fall away after the 31st of December, but we've been saying since 2018 that in relation to frontier workers, the MOU on them gives them freedom of movement beyond 1st of January 2021. In other words, it does not fall away on the 31st of December 20, uh, 2020. Uh, and the very basic point that we make is that we are now going into a negotiation uh, we're stuck in this very deep negotiation as to whether there's going to be a new relationship with the EU, whether we're going to get mobility, but we gave away a very big bargaining chip in 2018. And either by, by delinking it and either we dealt with all of it in 2018 or we deal with all of it now. And by delinking it, it's put our negotiating stance much more complicated. Now, you're mentioning we've delinked uh, this, um, but surely as well in the negotiation, um, it's also important to show uh, some goodwill. Here you are, a Spanish government yesterday saying that, in effect, you know, proclaiming that it succeeded in protecting its its uh, 10,000 frontier workers, the majority of frontier workers are, 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 are Spaniards, 10 out of the 15,000 uh, frontier workers are, are Spanish, it's protected its workers. There are a very few handful of frontier workers resident in Gibraltar going in the other direction. The vast majority of people do not have the same freedom of movement, mobility rights across the border. We're all going to have to wait to see where we end up at the end of this negotiation on the future relationship. And we say that by delinking those issues, by delinking them, we lost an opportunity to protect the people of Gibraltar. So obviously your concern is um, that weakened uh, position when it comes to negotiating the, the next round. Um, and while the rest of us wait for, for that fluidity uh, across the frontier, um, what do you fear? What do you dread now? And what would you hope are the government to achieve in terms in relation to Spain already ha having achieved this themselves? Well, look, it has undoubtedly made the negotiation much more complicated by losing a bargaining chip. It's very basic negotiating uh, tactics. Um, and it's, as I say, made it more difficult what we would have hoped for and we continue to hope for, which is our, again, our consistent position, is that the, the government is able to reach a new future relationship with the EU that is safe for Gibraltar and does not compromise on the key issues of sovereignty, jurisdiction and control. Now, at a more local level, those technical talks have been happening at a parallel to, to the wider uh, withdrawal agreement negotiations. Um, is government keeping you in the loop? Well, I mean, let's bear in mind that there are two aspects of discussions happening. There are implementation talks in respect of the agreement of 2018. Those are separate matters. Uh, it's about logistics of implementation. Uh, and side by side by that, with that, there is the main discussions happening on the future relationship. In relation to that, yes, the government is uh, briefing us from time to time on the state of play of those discussions.